the uh, defensive backs coach at uh, Shepherd University. Had the opportunity to work with him in 2013 at Avila University. And uh, Coach Pope, I turn it over to you. All right, my information right here. Um, again, I thank you for the invite. Coach Sharp, you know, great guy, man. One of the uh, one of the all time best that I've you know I've come across. Um, <clears throat> quickly here, um, you know, I, I do have a motto: dogs only. Um, a firm believer in, in being a pack, uh, something that Coach Charbonneau did mention. Uh, we, we as a unit, uh, coaching both corners and uh, safeties, you know, we had to find different drills and, and different models, different models and different mindsets um, in order to, you know, to walk as one unit, to breathe as one. So here, just something short and quick, uh, the pack, somebody that's passionate, accountable, confident, and keen. Um, somebody that has to, you know, perfect the craft. Um, every day, you know, different guys are they're getting bigger, faster, stronger, and we have to be able to, you know, stay in the hip pocket, so to speak, have to mirror them and, you know, do everything they do going forward. We have to imitate going backwards. Um, so just, just a few things down low, uh, just arriving early, creating a mindset, all the way to having fun, and that's first and foremost. Uh, next here is just just some brief information here. Um, just coming off of last season, we were ten and three, um, lost in the second round of the postseason. Uh, first year actually in the PSAC uh, with as Shepherd Rams, uh, first year in it, actually led the league in, in interceptions. Uh, but in this in this instance, we won't go through you know of the INTs. It's the most since twenty ten. Um, you know, three guys, you know, all conference and you know and so forth. Um, going forward, just prior to me uh, getting to Shepard, uh, this is, you know, 2017, um, you know, stats looking at, I was actually still at Avila University, received a phone call to come about. Um, in 2018, I arrived as a cornerbacks coach, um, and then we, we pretty much sliced everything in half, uh, got greedy, and, and, and really dug our toes into the sand, so to speak. In 2019, we took another step, just taking away the football. Uh, I, I believe that's something that, that, you know, enabled us to, you know, win a few more games, just, just creating a few more possessions for our, our stud at, at quarterback and everything like that. Uh, musical chairs, I did mention that on the side. Um, one thing about that, we had nine different starting lineups. So... Um, you know, it was the next man up mentality. We had, you know, freshmen, sophomores, um, and then guys is older, older guys who did not see the field. Um, so it was important that everyone must take the field each and every day with the mindset that, you know, I could be next. Uh, so Urban Meyer most recently said, you know, just to keep the room humble is, is, is competition. Okay. All the way down to uh, Mr. Darwin here, survival with a finish. You have to be able to adapt. If not, you'll be lost in the sauce. Um, so looking on the right here, uh, just three lineups were the same, all you know, throughout our 13 games and two consecutive. And that was just in the postseason, first and second round. So again, it was it was <laughs> yeah, it was definitely competition, and then there was a few curveballs thrown in there uh, beginning in camp. So we lost, we lost the we lost a starter corner and we lost starters in and out, in and out of rotation. So it was the next man up, definitely. Uh, going forward, a guy here that um, I had the, I had the option, I had the opportunity to work with. I uh, was with the Redskins, and and then ended up with uh, with the Guardians in New York. Uh, played corner for me, stout guy. And then going forward here, it went from one corner to now three defensive backs being on conference. Um, and then our region here. Uh, we're both guys, one corner, one safety, 2018, now 2019. Sorry about that. All right, jumping into the EDDs. And my information is here. I'm wide open. I'm, I'm eager to learn. Um, I do not have all the answers. That, that's something that, you know, I thrive off of. I love to learn, love to communicate, converse with different guys, um, you know, just different rhyming reasons. Uh, so just the uh, the daily footwork we do, starting with a speed pedal. I've uh, worked at Alabama, uh, not, you know, not directly under Nick Saban, of course, but, uh, you know, multiple camps. The last three years, Clemson, about five years, um, as well as University of Georgia. So we start off with a speed pedal, getting everything, you know, in the groove here, um, pushing off front foot, 
you know, low hips and, and cutting grass. Not too many, you know. As you see here, let me see. It's 38 here. Uh, feet real high. You need to be able to keep it slow, keep it low to the turf, so to speak. So you can cut, so you can get in and out of the break here. Uh, moving forward, we have the man weave here that we'll jump right into. And that's just staying. Let me see here. It's pretty choppy. Okay. No, it's, you're good. Okay, good deal. So the man weave here. So we'll go, we'll go sideline the hash and everything we'll do. We'll split it up, safeties and corners. We'll split up half and half. We'll split it up. Uh veterans and veterans and young bucks at the beginning of the camp. Um, you know, just getting a good look. But weaving uh, on and off the line, staying tight to your man. Next, we'll, we'll jump straight into the zone weave. We'll actually push five yards and, and really push off of that outside foot, not the old school stair with your butt. But shoulder square, push off that outside foot, and finish square here. And we'll begin everything with a scooch. So on the way down, we'll scooch once. On the way back, we'll scooch twice. And again, it's pivotal for, you know, both safeties and corners. Uh, fishtail, this time we'll actually open up. We'll run it at 135, open up. And the reason we're opening up here, we're anticipating quarterback's long arm coming off the football. So therefore, we're, we're you know, we're back in the pedal, and boom, we're, we're, we're out the break. We're, we're supposed to keep our eyes back, looking at quarterback. Okay, here, we're anticipating the football. Next, we're jumping the two bursts, and we're stay on the line here, just opening those hips up, keeping everything, keeping everything underneath of us. No wide feet, no wide base, keeping everything fluent. Got to have great hips in order to play this position, as we all know. After that, we'll go to the small W, and this is just this is just plant point drive. This is stick drive, one yard. Okay, we'll, we'll break three times. On the third one, we're, you know, we're finishing through on a, on a great break. Next, we'll expand it a little bit, and this time we only go two breaks. So we'll go to big W, okay? So now you're, you're just getting back to five yards and driving through the football. This time we actually put a football in there. The first one is just a put a foot fire, wake the body up. You know, we, we want to come out those blocks, so to speak, just like a hundred meter dash. Uh, so we'll actually get some starts and that's what they are. So now we're actually running through the football, finishing through. And uh, the second, the next guy won't go until the ball is actually caught. Just finishing there, same drill. Okay, so now we'll get into the uh, reaction to scoop. We'll, we'll begin with a shuffle. And on this, we'll go two guys out. And we'll shuffle 90 degrees. Shuffle 90 degrees off of my indicator. Plant point drive, come downhill. Low, low hips, bending at the ankles, knees, and hips. Identifying the football, whether it's over top like a shortstop or from the side. And this is pivotal. You may get one your entire career. It might be in practice, might be in the game, might be multiple times but you don't want to mess that up. So now we're actually opening up at 90 here. Open up, open up, and then back pedal, and then downhill to zero, depending on where the ball is at. Either down at the zero or down at the 45. Scoop and score. See the ball all the way in. And so this, this next clip here, uh, near safety on near hash, number five coming downhill is actually a game clip. And it's a scoop and score. One opportunity. It's the it's the only one all season we had. And he cashed in on it. Same Drew. Okay. And just a few more clips here, just the open 90. And it and again, you can take them all the way to the line, five yards each direction, and or you know, you can make it very quick, depending on time and the and the, depending on you know how long you've actually been doing it. We'll, we'll do these drills, uh, even tackling. We'll do these drills. These, is, these are Tuesday, Wednesday type drills, shells, um, full equipment, and game day. So, uh, again, here, just in the phone booth here, we'll meet at the zero point, one yard off, and we'll drive through, drive for five. 
we're, we're, we're grabbing cloth, grabbing numbers in the back of the, uh, I'm sorry, the back of the jersey, trying to trying to grab that neck, open them hips up. We do all those hand cleans and, and power cleans. You see a lot of guys leave their hips behind them. So in this case right here, quick whistles, everything is on my indicator here, blowing a whistle for the start and stop. Um, that time was a stalemate, and we don't want to get anyone hurt. So here, the rap wasn't good on this on this rep right here, but he went ahead and, and drove for five. So, you know, we allow that to happen. Sometimes the, the whistles are quicker than the others. And here, if you're not ready, you will get hit. All right. Um, <clears throat> good here. And then we'll, we'll move on to angle tackling. Same drill. And this time, you know, we're safeties and, and corners, you know, SDBs, we're, we're used to, you know, playing games on angles. So as you see here, I'm an old school guy. I'm a head across, not so much head behind. Um, you know, we do we do practice the rugby style, uh, but if if possible, I want I want the motor stop. I want the head across, squeezing the life out the football, uh, bite the ball, and um, and drive for five, opposite direction. And we'll actually go both ways. We'll go through all of our angles, and then we'll switch ball side. Um, here again, driving for five. Great strikes, you know, either, you know, both sides. And, and this really weeds out the guys. You know, a lot of guys like to talk at the meetings. A lot of guys like to talk, uh, saying they can hit. Uh, some are finesse, and it'll weed it out. Weed yourself out. And then you'll see you'll see the growth as far as guys who were very timid at first. Now, okay, I, I, I was hit, and I didn't like it. I had the football, so now I get a turn to strike. That's that. And okay, so moving on. All right, so we got to practice what we preach. This here is in an article um, in the first round of the playoffs. Uh, so as you see here, the last two weeks he broken up. This individual here broke seven passes up in two weeks. Um, then skipping all the way down to where he even said, you know, practice, practice, practice. Um, and then his, his interception was ideal. It was identical to what, you know, we went over different scenarios through the preparation. So now when we actually between those lines with the band uh, wanting to play, we're going to stop that. Um, you know, they have opportunity to hit the rewind button instead of, you know, seeing a whole different picture. Uh, so we, we really emphasize, you know, attacking the ball. You have to attack the football. Previously, I felt like we were too conservative uh we wanted to you know make the tackle and and not come out the break of anticipation knowing it's knowing the route is coming so here just going into the shoot um so we'll actually progress here i just wanted to go forward and uh you know speed things up so as you see here off man and or zone okay we, we could we could cap the route being a safety and or a corner here and they curl up in front of us, we're going to drive down to the zero. So the football is already in the receiver's hand, so to speak, and we'll keep two balls in each side. Okay, so now we're driving through, we're actually going to shoot. Okay, so now the ball can end up, okay, the ball can, the ball placement could be, you know, at the eyes, at the knees, at the chest, away from the body, either direction. Uh, so what we we have to do is identify the football first. We'll look at near hip and and, and upper body violence. So our eyes is an inside knee. Okay, that knee was probably going to bring us to hip level. I don't start at the hip wide because if you start eyes on the hip, you probably your eyes will end up at the chest and elbows and everything. You don't need to look at. So therefore, uh, we got two two different scenarios here. Uh, we'll start on the left side up top on the twenty yard line. He, um, this individual here got his feet underneath of him, anticipate the route, come down, and, and shot the football. Everything is a shoot. Versus 23 here on the right, okay, on the 25-yard line, we're, we're guessing here. The feet gets wide outside of our frame, and now they have to get back underneath of us in order to drive the zero. And as you've seen, it's, oh, man, he got me. He got me on the curl route. It don't matter if you get got. I want you coming out the break, identify the football, and shoot. Got to shoot. And by shoot, I don't mean a swat. We don't say swat because that is time taken up. Um, if we shoot the hands, 
Okay, so right now there's two hands on the football. We'll start with on the 20 again on the left side. This time is another curl. It's a, it's a shot right there. He's shooting his one hand. He's shooting his inside hand, right? Left arm is going to secure the tackle. He's shooting that right hand through the football, through both of his hands, okay? And now moving over on the right side here, we actually got a fade route, okay? Us as coaches, um, we'll send different routes. If we don't want to see curls and outs all day, you know, different slants, we'll send a fade because a guy sitting on a route, he's cheating, he's cheating the drill. So now you got to wait on the receiver's indicator, both hands in the air, he's reaching for the ball, and the ball is now cut. And as you see here, we're reaching for that outside wrist. One hand catches are caught in this case, in this scenario here. One arm catches are caught by this left arm. We want to reach for that. We want to take away that wrist, okay? We want to go through the football, grabbing that wrist and reaching for that. We want to break that wrist, not the near arm because, you know, that outside arm will cradle the football. Okay, here on the left side, again, we got a little comeback scenario. Ball is inside. Quarterback is inside. Number five here, again, he gets his framework. He gets his feet outside of his framework. Oh, he got me, but what I do love here, love, 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 is finishing. Got to finish. Finish, finish, finish. You're not going to anticipate. You're not going to be on top of every single route. But what we got to do is finish, and that's, that's through the football. That's shooting. Okay, on the right side here. Okay, we have an out route. I mean, we have an in route, in breaking route. So now we cap the route. We're downhill to 45 right now, and we're shooting with that near arm. Shoot, 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 shoot the football. And that's a great rep there. Again here, the left side, he's out the frame. Uh, my cameraman didn't get me here, but on his right side. So before 23, he gave up because he got got so to speak, on a, on a curl route. So now he got his feet underneath them, boom, plant point drive, back to our W drill, and we're shooting hands. They, that time it was a, a semi-swat. By swat, I mean the hand goes up and then down. We need that thing to go straight, locking the arm out, punching that football with an open hand. Another scenario here, we got an in-breaking route to the left, and what we'll get into here is a rip. Okay, so now again, in breaking route on this left side. So now, here we're we're too far away from the football. The ball is already caught. So in that in this sense, we cannot shoot the football. So what do we have to do? We have to secure it with the left hand, and now we have to rip. We're going to rip this right arm. We're going to rip it out of socket. And you see that fence back there? We say it all the time. We got to rip it out of socket and throw it over the fence. Cannot be nice because if if you end up if you're nice here, you end up on somebody's huddle highlight, and that's not what we want. So you got to be aggressive here. And now over here on the right side, 31, as you see here. So now he doesn't he doesn't get him off his mark. Okay, so we have to widen this this fade route out. Okay, sometimes the routes are better than others. So now we have to wait on the indicator. He can run them all the way to the opposite hash. Wait on indicator. Why? Because we're in phase with an advantageous advantageous position. So now, okay, so now we're feeling we should be here with the right, and I would love to shoot with the left here, but we do not get that, okay? So now what I call a SWAT is he's going from an unsecured position, right, to truly swiping the football, okay? Try to stay away from the term SWAT. So he's going from here, secure to unsecure with this swipe here. So now if he does not get this football, this ball is caught here and the band is playing. Okay, so we would prefer either a glove, which will, you know, that's for another time, or here just shooting with that left hand. All right, so now we'll go to this left side again, left side again. And now we got a guy who thinks he's Kyrie Irving, Allen, Allen Averson. All right, so now we get in those, you know, those battles, those, those meetings, so to speak. I can't wait to get you back. And again, as DBs, we thrive off of that. You know, we're foaming out the mouth. Can't wait to line up against them. So now he gives them a little shimmy, a little in and out. But 24 hit now, this is game reps. Again, we're driving down at a 45. At a 90, we'll be late to the party. That's a completion. So now we got to put that foot in the ground, and we're going to drive that 45. And so here again, the first time you'll see, 
he truly he, he truly tries to shoot that. But again, he's out. The ball is is further than what he can reach. Okay, so now we have to go into a rip. All right, so now it has to be a violent rip though. Tries to shoot it, doesn't get it. So now he has to actually take that right arm again, rip it out of socket, and throw it over the fence. All right. Now next here, 14 on the right. This time we get the same type of route. Boom, in breaking route, and we're driving at a 45 there. I would love for him to be a lot more aggressive here again. So here you'll see arm go up and then through it. I need it through. I need that shoot, shoot, shoot. You got to shoot it. Got to be aggressive there. And these drills, it cannot be, you know, a, a, a nice guy, so to speak. And this is the last one we'll show here, and then we'll actually get into some film um, to where it actually translates. Now, this rep right here, number five, this is a beautiful rep. Okay, he capped the route. He's on top. Boom, plant point drive. We're down at a 45. And we're shooting through that. It's a shoot. It's a shot. It's a shot. We're shooting through both of those hands. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, so now this is this will turn into some practice. Okay, so now again we cap the route, we're on top, and there's a shoot. It's a beautiful shoot right there. This right arm is shooting the football again. If we were to swat the ball, if we were to swat it, that's the difference between that's the difference between the completion and the pass breakup. All right, moving forward, another in breaking route. These are routes that we see in our drills. Okay. Now the difference is they already have the football in our drills. Now here we're actually on top, and the, and it takes time to get from point A quarterback's hand to point B in the receiver's vicinity. And we feel like you know we're boxed out here. We we already we already go over those scenarios, so it's nothing new to us again. So we're shooting here this time with the top of the tree, um, free safety here, top of the tree, driving down, boom, turns into a forty-five. And we're shooting that. Wherever his hands are, wherever his hands are, we're going through that with a shot. We're shooting, shooting, shooting. Okay, and then we'll go over to the cornerback position. All right, so now we're in the advantageous position. We're winning. We're on top. We're in, we're in phase with him. So now only thing we'll do here is throw the football. We're waiting on it. So now we'll shoot that. Where is his hands? His hands are behind us at the hip. So now that's that's a shot. We're shooting that, okay? Now, the difference is, I say a glove, right? A glove is anything a little higher. Again, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on that at another time. But here, we're shooting that. Wherever his hands are, again, we start with no ball, and then we get into a football. So now, you know, when, when the bullets are flying, we're, we're great. We're ahead of the curve here. And as you see, it's third and long. We cap the route. As soon as his hips sink, we're, we're, we're coming out of our break and everyone's excited. We're shooting. Now, again, I have a four-year-old daughter. I have a two-and-a-half-month-year-old two daughter. And my four-year-old can do this. Anyone and everyone can take this drill with them from Pop Warner um, and not going to step on toes and say, you know, NFL should do it. But, you know, it works. If you're looking for a drill that works, pass breakups, yes, you're going to have uh, numerous ball drills. But, again, here. You know, everything translates. We're on top of the route. We're sitting here and we're driving. Driving that. We're in phase. And now we're shooting the hands. It, that now, again, 31, he, he, as you remember here, um, if you want to go back to the, at the beginning of the tape, you know, he, he's a swipe guy, right? So, again, I say swipe. I say he's a swipe guy. Why? Because he took his unsecure arm, right? Took his, he took his unsecure arm and used that. I mean, I'm sorry, he took his secure arm and used that. So he went from, you know, if he does catch it, you know, making that for short sure tackle to, okay, I'm gambling here. I'm taking my right arm here and I'm going a, I'm to a, I'm a swipe that instead of truly shooting it. Okay, again here, again. Now, in a great position, boom, receiver sticks his hand, sticks his foot in the grass comes back to the ball, and the ball is caught. Only difference is we practice this. We practice a caught football to shoot hands. Doesn't matter where the ball is. It could be outside of the frame. It could be underneath. It could be at the knees. It could be wherever. We're going to shoot hands. Wherever that ball is, we're shooting. Here you'll see from the tight. 
boom, ball is caught, ball is caught, ball is caught, and then it's not. Because why? Because we shot the football. Here it's a little blurry, but here, we're in this hip pocket here from the tight, it's a little cleaner, a little cleaner here. Boom, we're in phase and we're looking to shoot. No pass interference, no nothing, no un no unneeded, um, you know, physicality there. And down here at the bottom, Max Pro taking a shot. We're not going to we're not going to panic. Why? Because we do this again. If you want this scenario, okay, you switch it up a little bit, just like we did on a fade route, right? You get by you, you get by the cornerback, the safety, and you you run your vertical route. The football is already in your hand. As soon as he extends his hands, right, then you shoot the football. So therefore, again, forty yards downfield, you know, there's no panic in us. All right, so now we're getting into some game reps. Up top, we've already seen this before. There's no panic in us. No panic. Again, there it goes. There it goes. We're going to shoot. We're in phase here. Looks back. We look back because we want the football, right? And now here go the rollover. It's not a speed turn. I don't call it a speed turn because we don't have a lot of grass, right? So his corners here, boom. We're in phase. We look back. 15 looking lean. We're good there. Now here comes a rollover because the ball is not to me. I got to make an adjustment. So when that happens, right, we're shooting the football, shooting the hands. Just from the tight view here, speed it up a little bit. Tight view here. Again, boom, it go to rollover. We're confident, rollover. Okay, I can't get that pick. So now, boom, I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot my left hand through that. And if I don't get it clean, now I'm bringing both. Down here, the bottom of the screen. Corner. Boom here. Closing space. Take the air out the hip. And here, we've already done this before. He sits down, I sit down. Boom, there goes the shot. I'm shooting hands. I'm shooting hands. Now, if I came out of my break, I could I probably I possibly could have picked this up. But I stuck with him and peeked back. And on that peak, guess what? The football was coming. So therefore, okay, let, let's let's get back to what we know and go ahead and shoot this right hand. Skip that. Okay, so now here, boom, we actually had a we actually had a guy jump off sides here, 45 up top on the right. So there's no panic though. No panic. Guess what? Green catches this football at six points. So therefore, we got to play ball. We got to play ball. We're foaming out the mouth for these scenarios here, though. And there it is. As you see here, this left arm again. Left arm is up. It's a straight arm. He's shooting right. If if I don't get the if I don't get the football, I'm going through that outside hand, that right hand of his, and we're matching that. We're matching it, and we're feeling good about it. We're feeling good. Here goes the whole play from for that reason. It was flipped. Um, but here goes the uh, the wide shot down here. Just got a quads open look, and so now it it turns into a press bail. Okay, because here goes the rollover. The ball is not to me, and we're matching hands here. We're shooting, shoot, shoot, shoot. My left on his right, and I'll break his wrist if he decides it, if he decides he wants to hold on to this football. Okay, here up top in the red zone. Does it work in the red zone? Yes, sir. And yes, ma'am, whoever's listening. All right, so we'll match here. We're motoring out, and we're taking air out the hip, and we're in phase here, and boom, wherever his hand is, we're matching. Simple as that. I'm taking my left. I'm matching his outside if I can't, if I can't get to the ball. Now, what you don't see here is, I'm going to be honest, they call P.I. here. I still haven't seen. I probably watched this clip uh, probably 333 times. Um, still haven't seen any P.I., all right? Um, Long story short, play ball, play ball. I believe receiver has his left arm wrapped around us. We got to fight through that. But here, as you'll see, as you see here, uh, you probably can't see it too strong. But, we're, again, we're matching. Our left through his hands, and if we don't get the football by then, we're breaking wrists. We're going through to the opposite hand. Up top here, again, you got a little, a little glance or a slant here, however you want to identify it. A little slant flat here. And we're excited about it. We're excited. We're shooting that. 
we're shooting that. Speed it up here. Boom, we're shooting that. Again, went from out of phase and in phase. So let's shoot. Up top, we cap the route. We see this every day. Boom, it comes out route. Receiver sinks his hips here. It comes a shot. We're shooting left hand. We're getting on him. We sink. He sings. We sink. Now we're shooting. Moving on. Up top now. This this we'll get into uh, a rip here. We'll get into a rip. Just in case the ball is caught, it's up top solo three by one. So now we're in phase. And what we'll do is I'll get you to the tight view here, get you a better view. All right. So now the ball is high, right? So now we got to get back. We got to take the air out the hip. But what you'll see here is football is already out here. But what you'll see is <clears throat> the drill will kick in, second nature. Why? Because we do it all the time. If we cannot get to the football here, we're securing the tackle. And we, so okay, so we couldn't, we couldn't shoot it. So therefore, we're getting ready to rip. We're getting ready to rip this right arm, right? We're getting ready to rip the arm. It's near arm. It's near here. Why? Because the sideline's over there. If he falls, he's out of bounds. So now we're ripping that. We're looking to rip a arm. If we can't get to that outside arm, we got to get something. We got to have insurance. We got to rip that arm out of socket, toss, toss it over the fence. This now we're in the slot here. Give us a little pivot here, a little whip in the slot. Okay, out of phase, got to get back in phase. And again, what we do if we can't get to that, if we can't get to that, um, that other arm, we can't shoot it, can't get to that upfield arm, we got to rip something, we got to rip something. So we'll pull this right arm away from, and it's got to be violent, got to be violent, it's got to be enough to where if he don't drop the football. He has to go down. All right. In the slot again. Number three up top in the slot. So this time, switching leverage again, just like we do in our drills. So now we cap the route. Here we go. Can I slip this? Can I slip it? Possibly pick it off? Nah. I can't. So what I what I, what I have to do? I have to shoot. I have to shoot my gun here. Shoot that inside on. Up top here. I think we got maybe three more clips here, and we'll, we'll jump off. I'll take any questions. I'm up top here. Now, what I dislike, I dislike, dislike is 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 all DB coaches here. We open up the gate here for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it was a brain fuck. So then we get back in phase. We were out of phase. Get back in phase. Here comes the two hand push, which will never be called. Um, never. I'm hoping for one, but will never be called. So now there's no. You know, there's no quitting. That dog has to come out by any means necessary. He cannot cross that line with the football in his hand. So therefore, I'll take the push and one. And we're looking, we're looking for something here. Now we got to swipe here. I don't have anything secure. So now I got to swipe something. I got to get the ball out by all means, all means necessary. I don't have an arm here in this battle to secure a tackle. So now I got to use the unsecure. I got to use. I got to go from secure to unsecure which means swipe. Uh, two clips left here, up top. Again, back side, boom, we capped the route. And we're there again. If the ball is not perfect, we can defend it. Only thing we can't defend, right, is a perfect pass. Everything under the sun, we're going to defend it. All right, cap the route. And we go ahead and dry that. All right, down here again in the red zone. Boom, here, what we got to do? We got to take our arm. We got to We have to have some insurance here, all right? So now, boom, we're in phase. Get back to the hip. No panic in us, no panic in us. And so now we'll take that secure arm, right? Only way he can one-hand it is at that right arm. So now we'll rip this out of socket and try to throw it over the fence. In this case, it's over the building there, over the field house. All right, and that that pretty much wraps everything up. Um, any any questions at all, Coach? Yeah, guys, if you have any questions, just feel free to unmute yourselves and uh, go ahead and ask it. 
I like how effortlessly those guys make that happen, Coach. Pretty nice. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, it's definitely translated, man. It's definitely a drill that, you know, I feel that anyone can take advantage of. What guys might not know is that when we worked together in 13, is you were a really skinny dude, and then we started working out, and then you got to the way you are now. I'll take credit <laughs> for that. Yeah, I got, I got to take my hat off to you, Coach. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. He, he coaches DBs, but he looks like a Mike linebacker. So yeah, I can't put the sweets down, man. <laughs> <laughs> so I, there's no questions right now. So uh, I appreciate you jumping on and, and doing that. That was awesome. Uh, stop the screen. There we go. Appreciate you jumping on and, and presenting there. That was great stuff. Um, and what we'll do is you guys have your contact info. If they have any questions, reach out to uh, Coach Pope anytime. I'm sure he'll help you out with whatever uh, you're looking for.